Hi everyone, my name is Summer Rafiq and I am a Business Administration Apprentice at Coca-Cola European Partners, which we call CCEP. Um, I started my apprenticeship in 2019 and I will be completing my apprenticeship in June 2021. I will be explaining you, to you today why I think an apprenticeship is a great way to start your career. So a little bit about myself. So, my journey to an apprenticeship. Um, I left school with uh, eight GCSEs and I got six C's and two B's and I went to sixth form for my first year where I studied business law and psychology. Um, I really struggled with one of my subjects and I kind of knew that if I was to continue I would either have to pick up another subject in my second year or just leave altogether which is what I decided to do and I went to college where I studied a BTEC level three extended diploma in business. Um, this was a really good decision for myself because I felt like it was the right thing to do um, and I literally did not regret it one bit. While I was in college in my second year, uh, teachers were sort of talking about university and personal statements and UCAS points and I kind of realised that actually I don't want to go to university and university wasn't for me, I'm more of a practical learner, I always apply what I learn straight away so I just knew it would make more sense to definitely look at an apprenticeship or full time work. And the thing that I really liked about an apprenticeship was the fact that you get to still earn a qualification while you're working full time. I decided to go for the apprenticeship at Coca-Cola European Partners just because I mean Coca-Cola is so like famous throughout the whole world. They're so well known and I just knew that it would be a really great company to work with and start my career in and put me in like a really good position. Um, one of the things that I believe I did was really challenge that perception of not going to university and choosing that traditional route, which is what a lot of people tend to do. And I, I kind of didn't do that and I decided to go with an apprenticeship. So Since I've started my apprenticeship, I've been really lucky to learn so much and do two different roles. So I've learned things from a new software called SAP in my role as a planning coordinator where I would order materials. I've learned how to use Excel to a really high standard from doing reports and pivot tables. I've independently worked on various projects from a quality project that I did to a recent environment project, as well as learning about the fast moving consumer goods industry with a training course I did in November. My apprenticeship was advertised as a business administration apprenticeship where you get to do three different rotations within the supply chain. So the main thing that I was really interested in was learning three different roles and learning about supply chain and learning what I found best and where my skill set was suited to most where and where I could see myself working in the future. I've also had the chance to build on like my confidence and sort of get really good skills through networking. So, you know, I can go to events and I can talk to different students and I can talk to parents really confidently, whereas beforehand, I guess I was always a little bit more shy. Um, I've also learned how to prioritise my workload and meet deadlines, as well as showing really good teamwork in skills. So with my apprenticeship, I've been able to get involved with a lot of things, which has been a huge benefit. Um, and a few being I got to support CCP at various different career events. So one event at Google HQ, which was really fun. And also I got to go to the House of Commons during National Apprenticeship Week last year, which was honestly like something that I won't ever forget. I've also helped out with different assessment centres and interviews on site. So, you know, helped out with recruitment, which is something that I really enjoy. And um, I found it really um, in, in useful to sort of be involved in and see the process sort of behind the scenes. I've had case studies about me on various websites, as well as being asked to be part of the CCEP Inclusion and Diversity Catalyst Group in Europe. So there's about 15 of us in the group and a lot of the people on the group are directors and senior VPs um, and I'm the only apprentice. So I think it's given me a lot of exposure to senior members, um, colleagues and just being able to connect with a variety of different people from across the organisation. Um, a surprise has definitely been how manageable it has been to work and study towards a qualification. I think that's one thing that I was probably concerned about, not knowing how I'd be able to balance, you know, studying and working full time in a social life. But it's all been really great. I mean, I prioritise my workload and I plan when I want to be studying um, one day a week. And 
with that my work slash study life balance is really good. Something that has been beyond my expectation is how the work I've been doing has been really valued and made a difference on site. So, you know, as an apprentice, you do get given a real job. You do get given um, real life things to do. You don't just get given like the stuff that nobody wants to get on with. And through this, by working hard and, you know, when your work gets recognised and someone says, oh, good job, it is really rewarding. As well as this, like I recently won a UK apprenticeship award, um, which was just a really huge achievement in my career. And it's something that I'm really proud to have done only one year in. So I really do believe that apprenticeships like have no limits, especially if you're willing to put that hard work in, you can literally achieve what you what you'd like. So going forward, um, my ambitions are to continue my career within supply chain, however, have a look into a future within HR as it's something that I am interested in and I feel like it's something that I'd be good at and I'd enjoy. So it's definitely on the cards for me to have a look at. Um, but with my apprenticeship, it is literally giving me the opportunity to get that real life work experience and a qualification meet with a variety of different people in the organisation, network with people externally from different businesses, get involved with loads of amazing opportunities, be a keen advocate for diversity and inclusion in the workplace, which is something that I am really passionate about, winning a UK apprenticeship award. Um, and it's also just made me realise that with hard work, you can achieve and exceed all of your goals and aspirations. And I think my apprenticeship has definitely opened a lot of doors for myself. Um, Here's just a, some feedback that I've got from like my parents and my friends and a colleague and a lot of them kind of just said things along the similar lines of, you know, they definitely look into apprenticeships and they definitely recommend apprenticeships going forward just because they've seen how useful it's been to me. So it's something that they definitely will talk about more often going forward. So my advice would definitely be to just go for it. I think apprenticeships are a really good way to start your career. You know, you earn a salary, you get your qualification and you get that work experience, which is so important from the get go. Um, just to do your research, to have a look at the career path that you want to go down, have a look at the career that you want to do and see if you can start your career off with an apprenticeship. So I know at CCEP, if you want to become an engineer, you can do an engineering apprenticeship and, you know, work your way from um, your first year up until your fourth year and become a qualified engineer at the end of it. So definitely see if your selected career route um, you can start off as an apprenticeship because it's just a fantastic way to start off as well as just keeping your options open. So don't always restrict yourself to one route. Have a look at different career paths. Have a look at different options um, because there might be something out there that you might love, but you won't ever consider it because you're so focused on that one thing. So for myself, I always wanted to go into a career in banking um, and I even did my work experience at Barclays, but I applied for an apprenticeship within supply chain and now 15 months later, I've learned so much and I've really, really enjoyed it and I can see myself working a future in supply chain. So thank you all so much for listening and I hope I've explained to you why doing an apprenticeship is a great way to start off your career.